Let's talk technical education now. And Deputy Director General of the Ghana TVET Service, David Pratt, has indicated that about 51,000 students have been enrolled into TVET institutions across the country. He says the rebranding and tooling of TVET have made technical and vocational institutions attractive and a destination for most of the youth. Mr. Pratt spoke at the signing of an MOU between the British Council, the European Union, and the two key bodies of the National Technical and Vocational Education and Training. A memorandum of understanding is aimed at helping the parties identify and effectively play their roles in enhancing skills needed to increase agricultural production in Ghana. The project is co-founded by the European Union and the German Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development, the Deputy Director General for Ghana TVET Service. David Pratt said TVET schools have become very attractive for students to study. We are also uh, upgrading these institutions to, to become modern and, and, and to offer programs. In view of that, the junior high school students uh, have been trooping into the TVET institutions because that is what is going to give them the employable skills. For the first time in the history of uh, TVET delivery in the country, we, last year, we had 47,000 enrollment in the TVET uh, institutions. This year, we are looking at uh, 51,000. The British Council Country Director, Nido Dududu, said the partnership is to ensure that they create decent jobs for the youth in northern Ghana in the area of agriculture. The problem of youth unemployment is going to be with us for quite a while. And so... We have no illusions that through this project, we're going to solve that problem all at once. And that is why instead of developing our own curriculum uh, and using it to train young people, we decided to work with training institutions such that the training institutions own capacity to develop curriculum is enhanced. They would have all these materials post the project and then the opportunity for more young people beyond the numbers that this project will deal with will be able to go through training institutions to equip themselves in these three areas and you know keep uh, being trained to fill demand driven positions that commercial agriculture production you know brings up up north here the chief of sakoya sakoya na mahama sintaro said the global trend in agriculture is moving towards competent training therefore the program comes in handy and that's why I started by saying I'm very excited about it. That comes to actually enhance what I have been doing for the last eight years. And that is giving young people opportunity to explore their potential in agriculture, be it agricultural mechanization, where we teach them how to not just drive a tractor, but operate and manage a tractor and all the agricultural implements that goes to do production uh, and then post harvesting as well. We also give life sets of skills in the agricultural value chain. For example, looking at how do we add value to what we produce. Primarily, we do a lot of production-based agriculture in the northern part of the country. So programs like this comes to enhance and help us achieve that objective of adding value where producers can get a lot more money that is more sustainable, that can create livelihood and as well as employment generation. Principal Dabopa Technical Institute, Mahama Mariama, said the training will help with retooling of her institution and to train the youth to be economically empowered. This is going to help us, I mean, train the young people with skills to be able to get employed by themselves or uh, others. It is also going to help us possibly retool the institutions to uh, help us give the young and teaming youth who are crying for employment. You all know the unemployment figures are rising day by day and uh, uh, projects like this would help us uh, train these young ones with employable skills to put food on the table and possibly produce to export.